Oh, my condolences to the family, to the loved ones who cherish this innocent soul who was drastically taken advantage of in a wickedly way. Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. What it do, what it do. This is your boy, Azokar, bringing you flame. You already know. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You be left in that loop. Man, you already know you have your ears seeing what's going on with the streets. You have your content on your device updating you every day every hour every catastrophic event anytime you need some info anytime I'm gonna bring some type of game you already know it homie but once once again like share and subscribe like share and subscribe shout out to the black YouTube out there Long live Lord Kevin Samuels, Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, The League Attorney, J.R. Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, uh, 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 Too Raw for Sports, Too Raw for TV, Nolia Sports, my man James down in the end, holding it down, holding it down, the black YouTube, I love it, I love it. We're doing it and we're doing it so, so well, so, so well. But you know, it's things I hear that's real turbulent. And one thing about life, um, especially when you give it, and when you give that life, that life that you give, it did not ask to be produced. You were just asked to be fruitful and multiply. And your seed, your seed is a gift from God. Or your higher power, whatever you want to believe in. Whatever comes from you, that's a blessing at the end of the day. But when you mishandle your seed, you don't take care of your blessing. You kill your blessing. You drain your blessing. You talk negative to your blessing. I mean, yeah, when I'm talking about your blessing, I'm talking about your, your children, your seeds. And when you do those things that, that don't ask to, to, to be into existence and you treat it like crap, what do you think is going to happen to you? Hmm? Hmm? Well, we're going to cook on this particular subject when we get back. I'm telling you to count your blessings, people. Count your blessings. Like I said, people, count your blessings. Count your blessings. This is the case of a five-year-old girl, Harmon Montgomery. Let's give a second, a moment of silence for this individual.
But yeah, man, Harmon Montgomery. And what's so sad about the situation, the mother, the mother herself said she tried to warn the cops about the child's father in the situation. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box. Krista Sorcy, <clears throat> sorry, who did not have custody of her five-year-old daughter, Harmony, uh, told the Daily Beast on Monday that the child's life could have been saved if anybody had listened to me at the beginning. Mm -mm -mm. She claimed that she repeatedly tried to warn police about her daughter's father, Adam Montgomery, who says she had never met, give, <clears throat> never been given a chance to get custody of her. Well, you know, some situations, you know, especially with a woman who have uh, a past, especially when it's dealing with drugs, uh, the state is real uh, hesitant to give custody of a child to a mother that's that's being of such. And I'm not pointing fingers, but it's, it's that's just what it is. Especially in today, how custody issues may go. Harmony was five years old, <clears throat> was last seen December of 20, 2019, but was not reported missing to, by Sori until late 2021. Authority announced Monday that Montgomery was charged with second degree murder, abusing a corpse, falsifying evidence, and tampering with witnesses in connection to her death. <clears throat> Adam. Use a pawn for that, Adam. Prosecutors alleged that Adam beat Harmony to death in December 2019 and concealed and disposed of her body at a later date. What type of shit is that? Use a sorry motherfucker, dude. Use a sorry motherfucker. And I want y'all to hear this motherfucker's arrogance. I want y'all to hear this motherfucker's arrogance. Well, he's being interrogated. He was first arrested on assault charges in connection of his daughter's disappearance in January when police initially searched uh, the Manchester home. Harmony shared with him and his stepmother, Kayla Montgomery. Kayla, 31 years old, also faced fraud and perjury charges after alleged cashing <clears throat> in Harmony's food stamps benefits while she believed to be missing. Benefiting off, off, oh God, oh God, this is sickening, man. This is very sickening. Adam alleged told his uncle that he bashed around, he bashed Harmony around the house. In the arrest affidavit dated January 5th, Adam reportedly admitted giving Harmony a black eye after he left her to care uh, for her infant brother who started crying. You gonna leave a five year old with an infant. You stupid fuck. <clears throat> Manchester Police Chief Allen Allenberg choked back tears money as he urged the public to honor Harmony by doing something nice for a child. Sorry, who is also the mother of Harmony's younger brother, Jameson, says she found some closure with the news of Adam arrest. Sora said that she and her family are taking this time to grieve together. We just ask for privacy and prayers. Some sick shit, man. Some sick shit. But yeah, I I I I want you to hear hear this motherfucker here, man. This this nigga here is on some shit. She had no idea that would be the last time she would ever see her child. Sori had previously lost custody of her daughter while dealing with a substance abuse problem. Harmony was placed with her father, Adam Montgomery, who had a history of abusing not only Harmony, but the other women in his life. During the years that Harmony spent with her father, DCYF was called into the home on 29 various domestic charges. Harmony was last seen during such a call in October of 2019. Sori grew increasingly frantic, 
but it wasn't until December 31st, 2021, that police investigated further. Montgomery was arrested on charges of not having harmony in his care, and his wife was arrested on welfare fraud charges for using food stamps meant for harmony, while the girl was not living with them. Investigators brought specialty equipment to the home. I mean, that's, that's just draining. That is draining from an individual, man. And this is supposed to be life that multiplied on a positive end. Motherfucker, you is doing it for dirt and deceitful ways. And you don't... The devil... The devil walking on earth. He ain't got no damn pitchfork and red. And he gonna, you have to die to get to him. Nah, that motherfucker walking right now. Woo, man, it's got my blood boiling like a motherfucker, y'all. Y'all got any children y'all care for, man? Y'all feel me on this? This is some bullshit. The equipment to the home as a part of the ongoing investigation into Harmony's disappearance. No body was found, but enough biological evidence was discovered to determine that she was murdered. Right. We might be able to work on that if you. We just turn this on. This is already on video recorded. You already that? Yeah, we have, uh, we got cigarettes somewhere, so I'll try to work on that, okay? Uh, before we have any, any conversations, I'm just going to have you read something, okay? And then we'll just go from there. Motherfucker here, boy. Arrogant motherfucker, you hear me? I just, you know, uh, because you're under arrest right now, I have to read you this, this stuff, or you have to read it to me. Uh, again, Detective Riley, Detective Dunleavy. It's uh, January 4th, 2022. It's 8.55 p.m. You can uh, read and write in English, correct? Okay. So, Adam, I'm going to have you... Uh, Start from there, where it says I, and then I'm just going to have you read down. I, Adam Montgomery, have the right to remain silent. Well, start from here, I, Adam Montgomery. Give the following voluntary statements. Take them down, leave the scene to Bradley, who has identified himself as a member of the Manchester New Hampshire Police Department. He has invited me to follow up the right to remain silent. Anything he's saying can be used against me in the court of law. I have the right to a lawyer for advice before any questioning. Anything to happen with me during questioning. If I can afford a lawyer, we'll be appointed to you by the court. If I decide to answer questions now without my lawyer present, I still have the right to stop answering at any time. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Do you understand all of these, one through five? Yep. Okay, what I'm going to have you do, just initial one through five, that just indicates that you understand what I'm saying, right? Yep. All right. Can you just read that line on? Do you understand each of these writings? No. Then you're going to check either yes or no. All right. And then read the next line for me. How do you guys have each of these writings? Are you willing to waive each of these rights and answer questions? Sure. Okay. Now, I'm just going to sign that line. All right. Appreciate it. Before we go forward, can we get a cigarette in here? There's a, a sensor in there. So I'll work on getting you a cigarette at some point. I can't, I can't promise you one right now just because the room we're in, and if this starts going off, I don't want to slow the building, you know what I mean? It's like they're going to go off. That thing will. Yeah. The sprinkler. So, uh, but at some point, we'll work on getting you. I know we have cigarettes in here. I know where they are. Okay? You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, do you need a water? I don't need nothing. You good? Okay. Are you okay? No, I'm okay. Okay. What's, what's not okay? All right. Um, so I'm just going to ask you some basic questions. You said you can read and write English, correct? Yeah. All right. Can you just state your full name for me? Adam Montgomery. And Adam, what's your birthday? 12290. Right. And what address are you using to uh, call? I'm using ID. Okay. What phone number are you using? I don't have one. Okay. Um, what was the highest level of education? GED. Okay. Where'd you graduate high school from? I, I 
I did. I got a GED. No, but I know. But like, where'd you get that? Well, I was in passwords. Okay. Um, right now, are you under the influence of any drugs or alcohol? No. Okay. Do you have any traumatic brain in injuries or anything like that? Anything that prohibits you from uh, recalling any memories or anything like that? Not that I know of. All right. Montgomery hardly seems like a concerned father, but after going so long without even reporting his daughter missing, he might realize it would come across as even worse if he tried to fake any type of worry. And first of all, don't let me be disrespectful. I'm so sorry. Subscribe to Strange Stories. Subscribe to Strange Stories. They always got the fire. This is where I get my content from. I just regurgitate it to my audience. And, and I love that y'all love the content. I mean, it's something to do, something to listen to if you ain't doing anything on a nice Friday night or any little lonely night. But it lets you know that, man, it is some crazy individuals out there and situations is worse than what you may be going through. So don't feel bad. Don't feel bad, ladies and gentlemen. At all. At all. He might realize it would come across as even worse if he tried to fake any type of worry. But yeah, man, I, I love the crime content, man. I, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I love the fact that my subscribers is growing. And without you all, I really wouldn't have the confidence to come out here and just do it. Well, I'm supposed to have confidence, really, you know what I'm saying? But y'all really just give me that push, you feel me? You just push me off the edge, and I just try to fly and glide with you, you feel me? Gotta get it in, because ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Who gonna do it for you? Nobody. You know, uh, working out, getting it in in the morning, uh, getting yourself together, broadening your vocabulary. Who's gonna do that for you but you? Ain't nobody gonna do that. You gotta ingest all that and let it manifest. You know what I'm saying? Bring it to life. Bring it to life. So once again, people, I wanna thank you all. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, man. You keep your boy motivated. You keep your boy motivated, and I love bringing you the content. Strange stories, they be bringing it. All these crime situations, uh, stations, we bring it. But let's cook. I know you've had a long time down here. You've kind of been a roller coaster. I'm going to apologize for what happened out there. That's not how I do business, okay? That had nothing to do with me. Those are guys that like to play G.I. Joe, all right? If it had been up to me and I could have gotten a hold of you some way, I would have I reached out to you. Cause, but you don't have a phone, right? You guys could have just told my wife she wanted me to come in. But aren't you not supposed to be talking to your wife? No, that's bullshit. It's not. You're not supposed to? No, I can't. Thank you. Look at that. I guess they're going to let you smoke a cigarette. They must have talked to somebody. Hey, boy, he want that cigarette now. <laughs> he want that cigarette. Yeah. 
federal units. I mean, you remember that was only, what, a few days ago, right? We had a lot of uh, worried people and scared people right now in the community. I know you're worried about the well-being of your daughter, and I kind of want to get ahead of this because I don't want you to be painted as a monster. Well, that's what you guys are already doing. I am? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. You How's, can you explain that? That's what you guys are already trying to do, man. Explain to me how I'm trying to make you, or whoever is trying to make you out to be a monster. Who, who's telling you that stuff? Is, some, is, there, is there somebody from that I work with that told you that? Somebody you're close with that they told you that? No. All right. But you understand this whole thing is getting a little out of hand. Would you agree? Of course. But so that's why. No, it's just the way you guys are going about it. Who? And again, yeah, I, I don't make you specifically, but right. yeah, nobody comes out there like that for a second degree assault charge. Nobody. Better us for worse than charge. Since the dawn of man, getting out has been hard. Whether it's for ED. Boy, you know these these YouTube commercials. Suck booty. It's just the way you guys are going about it. And again, yeah, I, I don't mean you specifically, but right. yeah, nobody comes out there like that for a second degree assault charge. Nobody. They're arrested for worse charges. They don't come out and throw fucking flashbangs at my girlfriend's car and ram us into the fucking guardrail. They don't do that. For a second degree assault charge. Again. You understand what the charges are, right? Second degree assault, right? Yep. Okay. There's also an endangering the welfare charge. Okay. And uh, interference with custody. Montgomery has complaints about how the arrest was made, but still hasn't brought up the subject of his daughter. Often in these cases concerning a missing or murdered child, the guilty party forgets to at least show curiosity, even if they can't manage concern. Okay, so... Man, dude act like he don't give a damn about nothing and just not reporting his child missing. Within two years, motherfucker, you guilty out the rip. You guilty out the rip. You, you know you're not finna see your house no more. Ain't no more skeeting. Ain't no more playing no Xbox, no online. Well, you be online, you know, but ain't no more Xbox, no more PlayStation. None of that. No more Papa John. None of that shit, man. Dude, you is through. So sorry, ass. Right? Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. City, even if they can't manage concern. Okay, so how did I end up feeling custody? So that paperwork that we served you the other day, remember that? Okay. When they were in the alleyway, remember outside of on Lake Cap? Yeah. There's paperwork that you have to comply with. You understand that, right? Okay. We had that conversation, did we not? Right. So that's that's what that's all about. So like a secondary assault charge. What is this re re referring to? Well, that's what we want to talk to you about. Well, explain to me what if I'm being charged with it. What the hell am I being charged with it for? Well, your daughter had some injuries what? that that you know about when you lived on Guilford Street. No, I do not. What that's, are you referring to? Well, you were there. I wasn't, right? Well, what are you referring to? I'm referring to her having some good marks. What are you referring to? Marks that were left on her by you. Absolutely not. I have nothing else to say. Like, um, we talked about how, how we were worried about your daughter the other day, right? Okay. Do you remember that conversation? I remember that conversation, but right off the rip, but the way you're approaching the conversation, you guys are completely out of line. So, me? Yeah. Do I? In, in the time that you've known me, which no, what is, you just said to me, you guys are completely out of line. Okay. But uh, so explain to me how I'm out of line. I have nothing to explain. Okay. But wouldn't you rather explain it so you, we can make sense of it than just have other people's side of the. Dude said, y'all way out of line. Now, nigga, you ain't, you ain't, now, white folks, I use that word nigga just like a noun, so you don't, I'm not giving y'all ammunition to use that motherfucker, so, you know what I'm saying, don't come in the comments with that bullshit. 
whoever, beside white folks use that word, they ain't supposed to be using that word. I ain't getting passed on how to use it, but guess I guess I am, though. Boy, and I, ain't I a hypocrite? <laughs> <laughs> but I use the word like it now. But dude, dude on some fuck shit, man. Y'all gotta admit it. He on some fuck shit. Then you, you, you ain't, you just not pointing your child missing five years, and then you wanna act all arrogant while you being interrogated? Boy, you better suck a piece. Being sensitive than just have other people's side of the story. Like, you wanna defend yourself and like, this picture people are painting of you? Now's your chance, man. Defend your side of the story. Who's, who's telling you these things? People that were close to you. Obviously not. Well, maybe at the time, maybe not anymore. Uh, he said, who's I telling mean, you these things? You saw that reward <laughs> on the news, right? No, I did not. Do you know that the reward is about $40,000 to find where your daughter is right now? Okay. When, when you start throwing money around like that, people come out of the woodwork that you would never expect to do. Okay. So, like I said... When I talked to you a few days ago, can I have another cigarette? Sure. I kind of. Man, this nigga gonna have cancer, boy. He leave about that, boy. Well, he ain't gonna leave. He gonna have cancer up in this, on this room. He gonna die of cancer. That's how he gonna die up in jail. All them damn cigarettes this motherfucker smoke. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Told you this thing was gonna get a lot bigger. That's not we, enough, right. And we just wanted to get ahead of it. But you sitting there telling me that. Right off the rip, that there was something wrong with my daughter because of me. No, that's bullshit. Okay. So if your daughter had marks on her at, at some point when he lived over there, as how well, would you explain those? How would you get those marks? Well, I would love to know when that marks were there because DCYF came to my house multiple times. Admitting that child and family services have had to make multiple visits to your home is probably one of the worst ways to convince anyone that you aren't abusing your child. What the fuck you just said? Now, I ain't no way in hell I would have came out with no shit like it. But guess what, homie? You got paperwork on your ass, nigga. I'm still on your motherfucking ass. Your child been gone for two years, and you just now pointing that motherfucker who didn't even report it? Hey, boy, hey, that's, that's the highlight. Well, fuck you for to get your ass done in. Somehow, Montgomery manages to make the statement with righteous indignation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hey, subscribe to uh, Stranger Stories, man. Hey, the content is off the motherfucking chain. Let's cook some more. Do we know that DCYF is the uh, flagship agency in, in the country? No, but if there was significant marks like you're referring to, I believe they would have flagged something at that point and they would have said something. They would have came there and seen that the kids were well taken care of. All the kids loved being at the house with me. So let me tell you about what second degree assault is. There's because there's a lot that encompasses that charge. Basically, if there's a mark on a kid that's under a certain age, it constitutes second degree assault. Although it is a felony, which sounds extremely intimidating, it doesn't mean that somebody got their head bashed in or they got cut up or whatever. So, although it sounds pretty intimidating, the charge, I understand that. What we're talking about doesn't mean that it's the craziest crime that's ever been committed. Do you understand what I mean? Okay. So, somebody could have a bruise or a really bad welt on them. And that would constitute second degree assault for a kid under a specific age. So that's why that charge is there. So nobody is saying that you took like a baseball bat or like stabbed your kid. Like, I'm just going to put that out there. That is not what anybody's saying about you. So I know you're concerned with when I say second degree assault, but it sounds a lot worse than I think you're thinking it is. Is that, is, are we kind of on the same page? Yeah, but for you to sit there and say that, 
that was inflicted because of me. What's just going on over here? You're not, you're not telling us something. So we're going with what we have. But I, I don't even know what you're referring to. What are you referring to? Your daughter had a mark on her face that people, multiple people, have told us was inflicted by you. Multiple people that weren't even living with us at the time. Well, there was enough people that had spoken about it. Yeah. People share knowledge of what they know. So, so somebody, you telling him, and then he tells you, and then he tells you. So something that just no, gets passed down the line. It's, it's yeah. We're not talking. I'm not talking about like a, a game of telephone here. I'm saying that people say a story, and then the details kind of fill themselves in, like corroborate. Do you know what the word corroborate means? Of course I do. Okay. Montgomery is trying to feel out who has spoken with the police. That will give. Damn, he trying to yeah, he trying to be like, man, who this motherfucker been speaking to? Who been talking about my situation? Man, I'm fucked up. I'm finna go to jail for real. Yeah, motherfucker, your ass finna get it. You finna get it. You finna get that work, homie. You finna get that work. Finna take a little break right quick. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> These cowardly men, sorry ass men, love to abuse children, prey on the weak, come fuck with me. Ah, oh, we are right back, we're finna continue to cook. With these sorry simp, these waste of human fluids, let's rock and roll. Police, that will give him a better chance to try to discredit them without accidentally bringing up another person with potential knowledge that might not have spoken to the police yet. You're a smart guy. I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, but when people kind of fill in the blanks, that's what I mean by like we're corroborating that story. But this is your time to tell me, kind of explain that. You know, if you're saying this was a mistake or this was an accident. I don't even know what you're referring to. Like, that's what I'm trying to get at. Is I don't even know what you're referring to. I'm saying she had a mark on her face. I mean, okay. I don't even know what you're referring to. You don't recall your daughter ever having a mark on her face? The reason DCYF came out to visit you guys, you don't recall that? Why did DCYF come out and start visiting you guys? What was the allegation? If I remember correctly, it was because of... Um, I believe at the time, I could be wrong. I believe at that time. So first of all, it was more than one time, but it was by involving some child protection agency. You stupid fuck, you is not going home, nigga. You threw. I, I believe it had something to do with my uncle saying I was using drugs, and I wasn't. Who is your uncle so we are clear? Kevin. Okay. And Kevin's last name? Montgomery. Now, he lived there with you? He lived there with me. Right around the time when I was first going back to get custody. <clears throat> That's a hard hitter, man. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hard hitter, man. time when I was first going back to get custody from my daughter okay. and then he left in April, May, something, March, something, something around that time. And just so I have it right, because I don't want to guess or, or like get confused, what house are we talking about? Guilford Street. All right, and what was the number there again? I'm not 100%. Okay. Uh, do you remember what, what color the house was at least? Age, maybe. Okay. Um, and whose house was that originally? My grandmother's. All right. And grandma is who? Kevin's mother. Kevin's mother. My she dad's mother. Okay. So was it the Montgomery group living over on Guilford Street? Yeah, and they all, they all moved out. My grandmother moved out in like January 
with my little brother, and they all moved down to Florida, and then Kevin went a couple months later. And so, Grandma, Uncle Kevin, you said little brother, and, and who is he? My father, son, Michael. So, M Michael, that, that's what I meant, like, what's his first name? Yeah, and his uh, girlfriend. And his girlfriend, and is he still with that same girl now? I have no idea. Oh, so you don't talk to Michael anymore? No. Okay. What was that girl's name at the time? Because maybe she can help us to say that, like, this is... Kayla, I believe. So Michael's girlfriend's name was Kayla at the yeah. time? And you dated a Kayla at the time? Yeah. So it kind of got confusing in the house if somebody was yelling for Kayla. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> what was Kayla? Kayla, you were with at the time, was... My wife. Okay. Montgomery. And then Kayla, he was with, is... I have no, no idea who she was. Okay, so there was Grandma... And Kevin, they moved out and when? Pretty much moved out. I'm like, uh, I'm just trying to think of people I'm, we can talk to. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out to go back. Like, I think, um, I think we moved over. Thank you. I think we moved over there. You trying to see his mess and they, 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 they catch up on his ass. <laughs> Trying to be all polite. I don't know. October, September, somewhere around then. And what year is that? Uh, 2018. Okay. And at the time, I was I was going for custody for my daughter for at least a year already at that point. And uh, Crystal was showing no interest of going to get our daughter back. So finally, in like. Uh, I don't know, December, January, February, something along them lines. The courts called me, told me I could come pick her up and bring her home, brought her home. And then, I don't know, it was, I think the month before, my grandmother left with my brother and his girlfriend. And then the month after, I want to say, Montgomery becomes much more relaxed when he is answering questions that don't appear to be closely related to the case. He answers uh, passive aggressive or accusatory and isn't trying to deflect the questions. Kevin left. So then who was left living at the house? Me, Kayla, and the kids. And uh, that time period, I don't know which kids are born yet and who, who um, was. Um, it was.
Montgomery hesitates noticeably oh, when he is answering these boy. questions. As you if don't want to come out and talk about this smoke he right here. Or here at least it comes. editing them heavily. Here it comes. My friend of this house. Right. They didn't pay the mortgage or whatever. They, they moved to Florida so the mortgage payments weren't being paid. And the, I don't know, right around Thanksgiving sometimes, the sheriffs came and threw us out. And then, and then me, Harmony, and Declan, Seamus, and Kayla left. Where the heck did you guys go from there? We were in our car. Oh, so you, got, so you lived in your car at that time? For a couple of days. Okay. And then... What, did you have like a van or something like that back then at least? To, what were you driving back then? Not a Chrysler of some kind, I forget. Oh, so it was just like a sedan? Uh, a sedan, yeah. Okay, so you're living in the, in the car that... So you, Kayla, and the three kids were living in the car for a few days, and then how, how'd you get up out of that situation? Like, who took you in, or where'd you guys end up? We're in the corner of mom's house, Kayla's mom's house. Okay, and, and what's her, her name? Chris. Chris, how, how she... Well, I mean, she must be a woman. She's willing to take you guys in. Yeah, all right. They're like, all right, I, I, I... You know what, man? Like, I don't even want to talk anymore. Like, this is just... Being around the bush, man. It just seems a little too... Silly to me. Well, I'm trying to figure out who can substantiate your claims that there's, like, you're not this, like, monster of a person that either DCYF made you out to be or your, your family who you didn't get along with or whoever. So that's why I'm trying to, like, let you kind of speak your piece about yeah, all that shit, you know what I mean? No, I, I get what you're saying. I, I just got nothing else to say, man. Sit there and like, uh, can I smoke another butt? Sure, sure. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll be honest, I don't smoke cigarettes. I'm a little lightheaded myself. I don't like that. Oh, there's no way. I don't smoke butts for a minute. That's all good. I, um, but yeah, no. Wow. Well, uh, but to sit there, man, and, 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 and sit there and tell me, you yourself, too, like, this is why I feel like it's just all bullshit. This is just a game. I know it is. I'm all stupid. You fucking... We're just trying to give you the opportunity to explain yeah. yourself. You didn't say that. Yeah. Oh, uh, Is he gonna let him have it? Is he gonna let him have it? We finna see. But to sit there, man, and, 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 and sit there and tell me, you yourself, too, like, this is why I feel like it's just all bullshit. This is just a game. I know it is. I'm all stupid. You fucking... We're just trying to give you the opportunity to explain yeah. yourself. You didn't sit there yeah. telling me not to make myself, not to make me out to look like some monster. Well, I told my girlfriend the other day that she should get the fuck away from me, that yeah, I don't, you don't even know who I am and what my past is like and all types of crazy shit, like, but sit there and look me in my face. I, I, Adam, I think, are you talking about Kelsey? Yeah. Okay. I think Kelsey might be exaggerating a little bit. Right. I don't know where to exaggerate like that. That wasn't us talking to Kelsey either. Oh, there's there's other, there was other people talking to her, just oh, so you know. She, she, she told me, she gave me your card and said this was the guy that said it. Okay. Well, I'm telling you that I didn't say that. But if you want to believe it, that's fine. I mean, she never had no reason to lie to me. So I don't know why, what she could lie about at that point. Uh, she also told me she had no idea that you had a daughter, so I guess we can say this, the same thing about you telling her that. Right, well, right? She knew I had a daughter. I mean, I have one with Kayla, so she knew I had a daughter. She didn't know what I uh, She knew I had. She knew I had other kids. She she told me she had no idea that you ever like lived with her and that you like barely knew her. I don't know if that if she was lying to me because for whatever I I have no idea. I don't know her. I know you better than her, so that's what I'm saying. So Christina takes you guys in, and, and she's doing all right, and then do you guys move over to Union Street after that? Is that when you guys get that spot? Nope, we go to the shelter. And that, that's the one on... Like, yeah. Uh, okay. Who's we? Who went to the shelter? They allowed you to go as a family to the shelter? Mm. See, I thought they didn't like guys there for some reason. They always like guys there. They didn't let me in there this time for no reason. Their reason was bullshit, because I would have been there with Kayla again. So back then, they let you in there? Yeah, yeah. And it was all of you guys, like, it was the, the, the five. five of you, they let you guys stay there? No, 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 all right, see, yeah, 
same passages. While Montgomery has said he doesn't want to talk, he hasn't said he wanted a lawyer, and he continues to speak. Ooh. Unless either of those two things changes, <laughs> they can keep asking him keep questions. Keep on driven, I'm trying to understand. I don't know your timeline of life, man. You're there. I'm, I'm not. That's why I'm trying to ask you these questions. So look, I'm I, trying to clarify them. I already told you the other day what transpired. So we were, we didn't, all didn't even go to our mother's house. Okay. Who didn't go to her mother's house? Harmony was all... Okay, so Harmony didn't go to Chris's house. So explain to me how she didn't end up going to Chris's house. I've already explained this to you. Okay. Well, there's some discrepancies between what you're telling us and what other people are telling us. You're saying you brought her down to Mass, and somebody said she came up from Mass. I never once said I brought her down to Mass. What did you say? She came up here to get her? I never once said. She, well, I was audio and video recording the other day. I never once said I went down to Mass. So you're saying that she came up from Mass? I'm not saying anything else. Why is it that you refuse to talk about her every time we bring her up? Because you guys are just sitting here beating a fucking a bush. It's over and over. You guys asked me what happened the other day. I told you what happened. You and wouldn't, now you guys wouldn't tell us the other day. You, said you guys talked to me today. the other day. I explained to him what happened the other day. And now, can I just, it was just, it was just a charade. Yep. No, don't worry about it. You're not under arrest. And I'll come up with some fucking bullshit. You didn't arrest you. No, the other day. No, but then you had a fucking SWAT team roll up on me and, 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 and the fucking D-Tex follow me around for the last three days. Yeah, people are coming out of the woodwork. This is what we're trying to tell you. Like, we don't want you to be painted as a monster. We want you to maybe explain yourself a little bit and give us some side of your story. We have nothing. We have just what we're hearing from people. 40,000 40, bucks to drag a lot of people up, whether you believe you're your friends or not. Well, I bet. It's a lot of money. Man. Yeah, I know it is. So, Absolutely it is. That's what we're trying to get. Now's your time. Like, you, you keep locking up on us. You don't want to tell us anything about her. I got nothing else to say. I think you care about all my kids, right? But the one I care the most about is your daughter, Harmony. And there's, we have people around the clock calling into us giving us tips from all over the country because they care too to try to find where she is. My only goal, I told you the other day, is to make sure that she's safe. I don't want you to get tied into something if you didn't do anything wrong. My job is not to jam somebody up for something that they didn't do wrong. And if you can tell me that you didn't do anything wrong, then I want to believe you because, dude, I've met you now a few times. I helped you out when you were at the hospital when you were having a fucking meltdown. You told me about your kids. I sat there and I talked to you. Dude, I could have fucking tased you right there and I didn't do that because I saw deep down inside that you were hurting and that I wanted to help you. Right now, all I'm trying to do is help your daughter. I want to bring her home and I can't do that without your help. Dude, I can't do that without your help. Uh, help, hey, can you look at me? Help me, please. All that's all I'm asking for. I can't sleep until I know that she's okay. And I know that you know where she is or what happened to her, but I can't do it without your help. And if you don't want to look like this fucking animal, because I don't think you are. The detective uses a mix of guilt and an appeal to Montgomery's <laughs> better nature. There is no positive result. I see, dog, pal. Montgomery has disassociated himself from the entire subject of harmony and continues to keep his knowledge of what happened to himself. Mm. Not that I don't think you are. I know you are. But I can only do so much for you, man. I know. I'm, I'm begging you to help me. Because... Um, as much as you're hurting inside, I'm also hurting inside. And I don't know how you can sleep at night because I'm sure it's eating the shit out of you. Yeah, Am yeah. I wrong? <clears throat> no. No, I'm just eating me a pot. It's, I know I'm not fucking seeing my wife. I'm not seeing my kids. You guys are right. just playing games. Like, this is just... Dude, but I'm not trying... I'm not trying to play games. Like, telling me, telling my wife and kids that I'm not allowed to see my wife and kids. Like, but dude, that was a... 
mistake from some court paperwork that hadn't been updated. So like I said, I apologize for that. But it was updated. DCYF told them. No, no, no. This was some like DV paperwork I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about DCYF already told us multiple times that there was no no contact order. Maybe okay. through DCYF. But yeah. It could have been through DCYF. Yeah. So let's, dude, let's fucking forget about it. Right, you've, just, seen your, you've seen your kid, you've seen your wife and, and kids over the last, how many days, right? I haven't so, seen them in the last, I haven't seen my kids in the last two days, three days. Okay. You're always going to be their father, Declan, Seamus, and then Sierra, right? Sierra. Kiera. And then there's Harmony. I got nothing else to say. Mm-hmm. That's it. Can you make me a promise? Like, man to man? Can you tell me that she's alive? <laughs> you can't play the same word games that you played with me the other day. It's not word games. I got not to We care, man. We want to know. This, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna go anywhere. Like, this isn't gonna stop. So, no, no, it's not. So, no, no, so either get on the bus now or get run over. Ooh. I got nothing else to say. Why is it she having so much trouble talking about harmony? Because I just got, I got nothing else to say. Mm-mm-mm. I want a lawyer with me. Now that Montgomery has asked for a lawyer, mm-hmm. the interview is over. Well, he just copied this. Uh, it's right there. His punk cell. Him punk cell. Y'all already know. Dude is already messed up. He messed up. Guilty. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, y'all leave me some comments. Y'all see your punk ass, punk ass. What's that? What's that punk name? What's his name? Anthony, punk ass Anthony. He's a punk. He's a punk. He's a punk. Anthony is a punk, 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 punk. <laughs> this is your boy Moose. Do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, man. And it's sad, man. Prayer match for the lost one and the family. Peace and the Bible,